Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you some more Path of Exile, Settlers of Kalgur. And last time we completed unbelievable undertakings. We finally got the Five Abyssal Depth, so then we knocked out our Breach Stones. We finally got our Tier 4 Harvest bosses, so then we knocked out our Expedition Logbooks to get credit for this one. We hit 24 challenges, so we unlocked the Rune character effect. So I went ahead and I attached it to Molten Strike, and I moved the Rune Smith weapon effect over here as well. I don't have any blue aura effects, but I did change the eyeballs to blue. <laughs> and we're running Dark Shard and the Legion to cover two of our auras. So we're going to do a dual blue and purple. I think that matches really well. We're still grinding it out on Sanctified Scarabs. This one's a grind. Arduous Atlas, this one's a grind. We're doing these. And then, yeah, the Monstrous Memories, we're at 10. Remarkable Realms, I could buy these. Doriani's is 10 div right now. Uh, we're going to hold off on this because we can run some Heist and see if we can get that drop. I might buy it just because I want the points. If we get another one, then I can sell that one for my money back. That would make more sense. Sublime Starlight, we are missing power and time. We need both of those to upgrade for Tremendous Township. So we have time runes. We need two power runes to be able to upgrade King's March. That'll be one challenge. And then to use it on something, that'll be the second challenge. Crafty Currency, all I got to do is use an Exalt, a Blessed, and a Divine. And I honestly, I don't know what to use it on, so I don't want it to be a cringe episode where I just waste those three, you know what I mean? But let's get back into mapping. We can still work on Sanctified Scarabs too. Looks like we got our first unique map. Old Max Farm. E-I-E-I-O. Black Maw Talisman. Looks like Kirex got another unique map for us. Oba's Cursed Trove. So let's go ahead and knock that out. Most of the unique quests, I get them from Kirak. Oba's Cursed Trove. Very nice. Very cool. Looks like we have another Kirak mission for Care Blade. That one we have not completed yet. Cool. So this will be another one of the unique maps down for Remarkable Realms. Gotcha, boy. Nice. Awesome. Looks like Kirak has given us Maelstrom of Chaos. So this one's incomplete. We can run this one now for the Remarkable Realms. There we go. We got the Maelstrom of Chaos. Very easy. Looks like good old Kirak gave us Death and Taxes. So let's knock out this unique map. Ooh, that scared me. Very cool. Kirak has given us Hollowed Ground, the unique map. We don't have the complete or the bonus for this one, so let's activate it, knock out another unique map. So we've gotten ourselves a Maokun Shore Drop, so let's knock this out for the bonus as well as going for the challenge for the Remarkable Realm. Ooh, that was quick. Bonus objective. Alright, Kirak's given us a Wakawairu 
Let's do that one real quick. Adam, there we go. Awesome, so we got an Acton's Nightmare that dropped in our last map. Let's run this one for Remarkable Realms. Bye-bye. So we got another unique map drop, the Pillars of Aaron. So let's go ahead and run this one for Remarkable Realms and the bonus points. Bye bye. Looks like good old Kirak has given us Coward's Trial. We haven't done this one yet, so let's crank this one out. And then I think I also got a Poor Joys as a drop. We can knock that one out as well. Both unique maps for Remarkable Realms. Got him. Easy cheesy. All right, let's knock out this poor joys that we got as a drop as well. Oh, is that the boss? Whoops. Very cool. Kirek has awarded us a yellow Twilight Temple, which that one's incomplete. We can knock this one out for the Remarkable Realms. Bye-bye. All right, so I want to knock this quest out. I have uh, gone and bought the Dorianis for 10 div. Crazy expensive. But I've been having a lot of luck with the currency market selling life force from Harvest. It has been a godsend. So I bought the Dorianis, and if we find another Dorianis, then we can sell that one for our money back. But I want to knock this out for the challenge and for the points on our atlas. So let's go ahead and do them in order. Vaults of Itsiri. This one really is the easiest one because all we have to do is go into the second room and we just click. Got it. Really hoping that because of the massive amount of rarity that we might get a ridiculous amount of gold from this map, but it doesn't look like it's happening. All right, next up, Vinktar Square, which I made this one just like last league. I made it with the anger rods, north, west, east, and south. There we go, got him. Very cool. We got the vessel of Vinktar. It's worth. Eight. It used to be worth so much more than this. All right, two more. The Putrid Cloister. Otter. And one left, and it's Doriani's Ten Divination. There we go. I don't remember if this really matters. Uh, last league, I think I picked three different and it went fine last league i would i thought this was an expensive map it was three div last league can't believe it's 10 this time has this intro really always been this long maybe i was just super nervous the first time i did it Remarkable Realms. Oh, what a wonderful feeling. And we have all of the skill points now. Let's see, are these worth anything? 15 Chaos, that's good. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to show your appreciation and consider leaving a BOOM in the comment section below. Also, click on my dude here to subscribe for more Let's Plays. Ooh.